All right, guys. I'm standing up. Do you like the pride flag? We're gay, so we have pride. Just kidding. No, we really do. <laughs> you remember my hair? Hardened tape. I have a weird tape ab addiction. I enjoy playing with tape. It's, I don't know whether it's a nervous habit or whether I just like the feeling, because I really do like the feeling. But, yeah, no. These are laying all over my house. And it's an expensive habit because each roll of this tape is like $8. That's the first time I've like admitted it. My wife knows it and the next door neighbor knows it because she was at the house all the time. Um, and our friend Morgan, who was here the other day and I made some bomb ass pineapple upside down cake. I'm gonna pause the TV just a second. Pause. Sorry, I'm watching Long Island Medium and I would like to make a little bit of possible money off of this video. If you know anything about Facebook, if you have anything playing in the background that could be copyright, which that remote would be copyright because it doesn't belong to me, um, your video doesn't make any money. Even though I don't make any money, I think I've made 40 cents, guys. 40 cents. Um, but yeah. No, I don't know what I'm going to talk about today. I did hurt my knee today at work. Um, I came, I thought I was coming down on a mat, and really, I just came down on this nice metal round thing that I really actually hurt my knee, and it hurts, and I should probably, I said I shouldn't be standing right now. Um, let's see. Oh, do you want to see what Ashley got me for our wedding anniversary? We've been married for one year, but together for much longer than that. You'll see, I just posted, I'm going to upload this video, but... My other video is going to be up too to watch. And we got a new subscriber. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. Please post more videos so I can subscribe to you as well. Please. I like subscribing to people that subscribe to me. It's going to be difficult though because once I get, if, if I ever get bigger than say 500 minutes, it's going to get really hard to subscribe and watch everybody's videos. But anyways, hold on. So, Ashley got me this. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's probably backwards. We were married the 24th of August last year. And then she just kind of put this all together. Took some pictures from our wedding. Oh, yeah. By the way, we're one subscriber away from um, having a Facebook page. Which, by the way, I'm really angry at Facebook right now. I love drag queens. I'm not going to lie. I love them to death. It's like sexually frustrating. I'm just kidding. Not sexually frustrating. So this is my dad. Tracy. This is my dad and that's me. And then this is Ashley, who's my wife. And this is Chuck. Chuck's awesome. Chuck walked her down the aisle. Um, it's a long story of why, but he is a great man and he's like her big brother, so... Yeah, now there we are at my dad's beautiful arch, signing away our lives together. Oh, there's no spiders on this thing. And then my bridesmaids, which is my best friend from when I was a little girl. I've known her since I was like eight years old, I think. Yeah, maybe even before that. I know we had lice at the, the, the very first time I met her. We all had lice, me, her brother. And my mom br and my sister, and we, my mom brought us over. Sorry, it's like got a glare. I'm sorry. Um, and we uh, went to her house, and her mom combed our hair for lice and stuff. It was pretty. Uh, and we played around. At least none of us were gonna get each other, give each other lice, because obviously we already had it. This is my baby sister. She's pregnant again. She's gonna have another baby. I think it's gonna be a girl, and I think her name's gonna be Annabelle. But that's just me. My sister doesn't believe me, neither does her husband. This is my oldest cousin. Her name's Carrie. One of my oldest cousins. I have another one, sorry. But she couldn't make it to the wedding. And I see... I love my cousins all to death. But I see this cousin pretty much on a monthly basis. Maybe even more than that. But anyways, yeah, this is Carrie. And this is my baby girl cousin. She's the youngest of all the cousins. Minus her little brother, who is Taylor. And he is... 
just getting into high school. He just started high school this week, or last week. Ugh, where's time gone? Okay, this is Chantel, and then this is me. Let's move along to Ashley. So this is Ashley, my beautiful wife. You've only seen her a few times in videos. In fact, you've probably heard, watched our video of our anniversary drive. Um, this is our landlord's daughter. We've known her for two, almost three years. And um, she lives right down the road, actually. And this is her daughter, Carly. They're really cute, and they look, they're pretty much, they look exactly the same. Like, you'd be surprised. So, funny thing about Ashley's family. Ashley's family's got five kids, okay? Five kids. Uh, four girls and one boy, right? So this is her older sister, Jessica. And then this is her, the sister right underneath her, um, Courtney. They've also got Kimberly and Eric. Eric is the only boy, and he is obviously the youngest boy. <laughs> but, um, anyways, yeah, no. They were in the wedding. We had, my cousin was supposed, my other cousin... <laughs> My other oldest cousin, which is like a year older than me, was supposed to be in the wedding too. But um, she couldn't make it back from Arizona. We're actually supposed to fly down there and go to her wedding next year. Um, but this is our whole wedding party. So I know you can't really tell, but my sister and Sasha were the maids of honor. <laughs> we had all girls. We didn't. I mean, the only boy really in the thing was uh, my nephew Aiden. Um, but their dresses are actually two different colors two different colors. Wouldn't really, they actually kind of look exactly the same. We had a pretty cool photographer. In fact, I had a friend that, um, paid for my photographer to come and, um, take all of our pictures. But yeah, no. My sister giving my speech. I was pretty drunk at my sister's wedding, so, and she was still breastfeeding at the time, so she couldn't, um, some of these pictures I actually haven't even seen. I mean, I looked through the book, but, like, before that. There's a close-up of me and my sister. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, no, we're goofballs. We actually have a picture of licking each other, but I don't think it's in here. But, yeah. You know, um. Let's see. Where's Aiden? Is Aiden even in here? This is my ring. My ring's this one. It's a big gaudy ring. And everybody asks me why I don't wear my ring. Have you? Do you see this puppy? That puppy is $2,000 worth of diamond right there. I don't think I'm wearing it anywhere. And I'm not going to tell you where it is either. I'm getting really close to this camera. And then even my wife's ring is really big too. Hers was less expensive because it was on sale. Yes, yes. Oh, and we had a bunch of sunflowers and roses. We love sunflowers. And we actually, it was cheap. Our wedding was actually pretty cheap. I paid for our venue because it's technically our house. Our house, our, we have a big field out and right outside of our house. And so we were able to use that. Our landlord was okay with it. Um, but yeah, no. It was actually not that expensive. My parents said that my sister and I's weddings were pretty much the same in price. Which I highly doubt because not only did we get the venue basically for free because I paid for it. But we also got borrowed the tent for free. <laughs> the really only thing we had to pay for was the flowers. My mom had to pay for my dress, which was half off because they lost my dress. My original dress. They lost it. And so I got, uh, it was a brand new dress and I got it for the sale price because they lost it. And then, um, I paid for Ashley's dress, which was half off the original price because... They lost her, literally, they lost both of our dresses at the same time. Yeah. Don't even get me started. Anyways. But yeah, no, those are pretty cheap. I think the only pricey thing was really the, uh, decorations, the tables, which were like, a, like, my mom says our weddings were pretty much the same in price, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Let's see. Oh, there's my man. This is my little man. His name is Aiden. Or I'm going to call him A, but... Yeah, Aiden, because then I'd be taking... He is a year old now, and he's going to be a big brother coming up in a couple months. We played Mary Lambert. <laughs> we played Mary Lambert. Actually, funny, funny, funny thing. So, I didn't realize at that time that... Hold on, let me put this back. I didn't realize at the time that the part of the song we played was Mary Lambert. Um, later on, like... 
the next week while I was at work, I was like on break, and I'm like, okay, I want to know who the female voice is. I actually thought it was a Miranda Lambert. For all of you that know, her name is Mary Lambert, <laughs> because people call her Miranda all the time, but she's Mary. Um, and I looked her up, and I listened to her music, and I'm like, holy shit, this girl, like, totally, fall like, is, like, she can explain my life, right? Anyway, so, but then I was like, okay, I'm kind of interested. I want to know a little bit more about her. I found out that she's from, originally from Everett, Washington, and her birthday is the day after mine, but we are a year apart. She is older than me by one year. One year and one day. Or less than one day. So it's 364 days, which is kind of stalkerish and you think it is, but it's really not. I just was curious. And then a week after we got married, <laughs> Mary married, um, we went to, I went to my first Mary Lambert show and it's been a year. September 8th was the day we went to the Mary Lambert show, I think. Yeah. And then... Yeah, no, that was the first show we went to, and I've gone to, like, f four, five, one, two, I ended up getting the flu after one, um, yeah, I think five shows for Mary Labor, and, um, one was actually for a really good cause, um, there was a mudslide over in Snohomish, sorry, there's, like, spiders roaming around my house, like, not that I want them to roam around my house, but, <laughs> I thought I felt something wrong on my foot, um, but no, um, one was for the oh so mudslide. Um, also, they're still trying to get funds together to support them, but it was for a good cause. And so I was like, hey, I'll pay for it. And then I was like, hey, I'll pay for drinks. And then, hey, I'll... So basically, we went and did that. Um, it was for a good cause. I was like, I could donate money to people that I'm pretty sure I could. it could possibly not go towards them. Or I can go to a show, pay for the show, which... They didn't make any money off of it. They just donated all the money. And I think they raised $20,000 at that thing. And there wasn't a lot of people there. It was kind of amazing how small of a crowd it was. But all the love that was there. It was just awesome. Um, but yeah, no, I've gone to like way too many of our shows. We should probably go to something else. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. So... There's a little bit of update about that. It's Friday. And... Hold on. Fuck. Sorry. Department of Education. I don't want to talk to you. Best way to hang up on people. Answer and then hang up. Probably not a good idea. But it's not my student loan. My student loan is being paid. Because it's coming out of my paycheck. So I'm living paycheck to paycheck just like everybody else. Um, I enrolled in fall quarter for school. I am taking introduction to psychology, so watch out. I might know how to not read people's minds. But yeah, I've been catching up on, um, uh, actually, I haven't seen Jing and Monica post a video for a while. Man. Yeah, Jing and Monica, I haven't seen them post a video. Maybe I should check. Because I might just be blind. Um, let's see. Living Rosa. Okay, so if any of my subscribers um, are looking to start a family or a lesbian couple, which I look through them and mainly they're my family. So family and friends and a few people that I don't know and I'm glad that you're following me and watching my videos. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you. Um... I'm gonna have to piece this together because I had to cut that, or not cut that part, um, I had to stop because the phone rang, um, but yeah, no, I kind of lost where I was. I probably look like I am crazy and I, but I've been awake since for like ever. If y'all don't know by now, I wake up at three o'clock in the morning to go to work, so... If I'm a bit spacey, it's because I am spacey. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. Um, oh, it's Friday. That's what we were talking about. It is Friday. And I don't know if Morgan's coming over. Morgan's come over like three times this week, but that's totally cool because she's like the coolest person ever. By the way, I'm not a stoner. I don't smoke pot, but she does. And that's totally chill. Or, yeah. 
I think she smokes pot. Yeah, she smokes pot. She in my, not in my house, but like outside. But anyways, she broke her rig and true stoners, or true friends help your friends get stoned even when they don't smoke pot themselves. I was a stoner in high school for like the shortest amount of time because then I... I moved to Oregon and went to culinary school, in which I rarely ever use, except for when I made that pineapple upside down cake and I used a recipe off the internet, so it was pretty easy. Um, actually, I can link the, or maybe not link it, because I don't have a computer. Man. I need to get that fixed. It's going to cost... It's going to cost me somewhere between $35 and $100 to get my laptop fixed, even though it's got a warranty, but it got a virus, so, and my warranty doesn't cover viruses. In which I'm really pretty sure that the com or gateway sent it to my computer. Because they were warning me for like a week straight to back up my shit. Hold on, I need something to drink. My beautiful wife got me hibiscus tea. If y'all don't know by now, I like tea. A lot of tea. A lot, a lot, a lot of tea. Look at this. It's like red. Can you see it? You can barely see it. I don't want to dump it out. But it's really good. I need to put some hot water in it. I like hot tea. This is cold tea. That's okay. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. I said earlier, oh no, I didn't say because I started this video after I had made that video. Um, I'm going to be applying for Biggest Loser, not because I want, not because I'm ashamed of my body. I'll back up and kind of show you. This is my body. I look like a, not really a typical female. I've got a small ass because I did work out for a while and I did this thing called the Meltdown Challenge. And I lost like 10 pounds, which is totally cool totally cool but the problem with losing 10 pounds is if you stop working out you not really stop I didn't stop working out I just slowed down because things were happening in my life that I, I just couldn't take at the moment so I just kind of took a break for like a month or two <laughs> and I kind of gained it back and I was a little upset but positive my doctor said as long as I'm working out she's not really worried about my weight and she's not worried about my fertility even though I do have PCOS and I do um, have cysts on my ovaries. Um, she's not extremely worried because I am taking active, you know, I'm, I'm being active. I'm more active than I was when I first started seeing her. Um, but yeah, no, um, I'm weird. So if you, if I kind of like, yeah, I told you if I like spacey then Probably because I am spacey, I'm tired. And I don't want to go to bed early because then I won't sleep and I'm supposed to babysit my nephew because my parents are going to go fishing. I live on an island, by the way. I live out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Which is fine because it's peaceful and quiet sometimes. And except for people rob banks and shit like that. <sighs> this place has turned to shit. There's more drug addicts on this island, and I mean hardcore drugs, I'm not talking about pot. Pot is not hardcore unless you make it hardcore, right? I'm talking about like crack cocaine, heroin, meth, it's like, it's insane. This island has gone to, um, I love my island, but sometimes I wish I could move off of it because for some odd reason, sometimes the world just seems like a better place than... Living on an island where it's being taken over by bank robbers and child molesters and people that put porn on child porn on their computers. It's depressing. But yeah, so anyways, I should probably go heat up some more tea. I might make another video today. Get them uploaded and then I could just fucking put them up later on this week. Look at my hair. Tomorrow it'll be nine weeks since I shaved my hair off and it's making some great progress. The one thing that I don't like now since it's like nine weeks in, if you can tell, I just washed it yesterday. By the way, I don't take showers every day. When you're around children, especially my nephew and like children that are around other children that are around older children that could possibly have lice. <sighs> 
people, <laughs> lice like clean hair because it's easier to stick to because there's no oil, okay? I'm going to tell you this. I may not be a mom, but I know this. Oil does not allow them to completely stick to your hair, so they kind of slip off. But if you have clean hair, it's dry. You dried it out. They can hold on to it easier. They love clean hair, okay? So I try to stick with a little bit more of a every other day, maybe two days, maybe like four when it's a holiday and I'm really lazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, so this is almost nine weeks tomorrow. So... Oh yeah, and like, so, I can actually feel a breeze in my hair now when I'm at work, and it naturally, like, when I wake up, it'll be in like a faux hawk. Yeah, that looks retarded, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try not to say retarded, even though I don't say it to be offensive, and I don't think that people with, not even special needs, just, just regular people. The only difference is they learn and speak and act different than me. Just like I act different than you or you act different than me. You don't like tattoos. I love tattoos. By the way, I want to get another one. <laughs> I actually want to get a few piercings too, but that's not in the budget today or this this month, maybe. But I did work a lot of overtime, so we'll see, maybe. But I got to pay my parents at least. Yeah, anyways, I should go heat up some water. This video is going to be like 16 minutes, maybe 20. Um, oh, yeah. Another thing before I leave, um, please try and leave positive comments. If you have negative comments, okay. But if you're going to be negative, please just leave my channel. That's all I'm going to say because I've... I watched this couple and God bless their heart. They're a beautiful couple and they just got pregnant. And they did a tag, and they said something that they believe, which is totally cool. And I may not agree with them, but I'm also not about to bash them, right? People chase them off of YouTube and Facebook, and it really, it breaks my heart because they were great. I loved watching them, and now it's ruined because some dumb fuck wanted to be nasty and say horrible, I mean, absolutely horrible things to them. And... I may not have seen all of what was said, but still, the little bit that I saw was horrible. So, hopeful mamas, I am totally on your side. I am so sorry that that happened to you, and I hope you guys come back to YouTube, and maybe not Facebook, just YouTube. <laughs> maybe to get a Twitter account. Maybe a little later. No, probably not. Maybe Tumblr. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyways, follow me on Instagram. Nichelle Brown 1, I think. And then Twitter to shop on 23. If those are wrong, switch them. Because I'm getting it all mixed up. And I'm videotaping you on my iPhone. Or iPod iPhone. So I can't really actually tell you what they are. But I'm pretty sure they're one or the other. And we need one more subscriber. So please ask your friends and your family to watch me. They don't even have to watch me. Just subscribe. And I will... I'm going to try, 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 try to post at least once a week. Um... I'm not going to promise, but I'm going to try. Trying is better than not trying, right? Anyways, have a great night, guys. And I love you. And thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being my little family that doesn't... I barely ever see except for Anna and my cousin <laughs> and my wife and Morgan. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, go over to Morgan's channel too, uh, Miss Farley Pop. It's, she hasn't posted in a while, but she's a little busy right now. Um, but yeah, anyways, love you guys. Peace. Ah!